What's going on, people? It's your boy Tone back with another video today. We got your boy Adam Calhoun basically breaking down his opinion on the Britney Griner situation. Um, I found it a little bit interesting, so let's get into it. Okay, okay. So Joe Biden, this guy, laid an effective strategy to mobilize true international effort to pressure. So Joe Biden just released a WNBA player by the name of Brittany Griner from a Russian prison. Now, if you don't know what the WNBA is, it's where girls try to play basketball. Now, I'm not saying women can't play basketball. I'm just saying nobody cares that they do. The highest level of basketball. And if you love basketball, um, you love the WNBA. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So Joe Biden got Brittany Reiner out of a prison in Russia and traded a prisoner that we have by the name of Victor Bout, I believe. They call him the merchant of death. He is an arms dealer to warlords all over the world. So we traded a below average women's basketball player who got in trouble by breaking the law, having weed and hashish pen in Russia, what's against the law, for a guy that is one of the most dangerous people in the world. That's fucking me. And on top of all that, we left an American Marine who's been over there in Russian prison since 2018. He's still over there. A guy that served our country, a Marine. So just a couple quick questions I have. Uh, are we going to release everyone in America who's still serving time for weed? I think they should be released now. Also, this woman wanted to be paid equal pay as NBA men. She wanted equal pay, but she doesn't want to have equal punishment when she breaks the law in another country. The saddest thing about all of this is we have other Americans over there in Russian prisons and we have an American Marine who served his country still over there. And the only reason that they did this was because she's black and she's part of the LGBTQ whatever community and elections are coming up and they think they're gonna get votes from the blacks and the gay community. This is... <sighs> so on this channel, you already know, man, I like to hear people out. Let's see who this guy is he's talking about that was in the military. Let's do a little bit of research. Five minutes, let's go. So the person he's talking about here is Paul Whelan. Paul Whelan was detained by agents from Russia's Federal Security Services in a room in Moscow Metropole Hotel near, listen, Kremlin on December 28th, 2018. So he was arrested on 2018. He's been in prison from 2018, but let's continue. Welland said he had been in Russia for a friend's wedding and had been given the drive by an esteem by a Russian friend. He said that he thought it contained holiday photos, right? After a trial held entirely behind closed doors, that US diplomat said was unfair and opaque, Whelan, now 52, was convicted of spying in 2020 and sentenced to 16 years in a maximum security jail. He is currently being held in the IK-17 penal colony in Moscow, right? So let's continue. So he was in the military. Whelan served with the Marine Corps Reserve from 2003 to 2008, much of that time as an administrative clerk in Iraq. At the end of that period, he was dishonorably discharged for larceny and other lesser offenses after being found to have tried to steal $10,000. So let's make this clear. He was dishonorably discharged for larceny and other charges, went back over to Russia and got found guilty of spying on his own accord after he was released from the military. So we can make it about uh, the LGBTQ community. We can make it about race, oh, cause she's black, or we can look at the facts. So just make the decision for yourself here. Who would you rather bring back? An American who got caught for some weed or an American who got caught for spying on his own personal time? I mean, it's a no brainer. Let's leave the race situations out of it. And the fact that she's gay, that has nothing to do with anything. It's common sense. Comment down below what you guys think. And before we listen to these folks, do your own research, man. Until next time, we out of here. Peace. If I should die at a young age, I thank the Lord for giving me a break. If I should die at a young age, I thank the Lord for giving me a break. Cause I probably live forever, ever, probably live forever, ever, probably live forever, ever, I probably live forever.